trying to uh, a lot of there was been a lot of good comments made about the state of the arts as it relates to African Americans and the comparison of what how great we're doing in film and how great we're doing in rap and jazz and seems like the visual arts kind of left on the side to flounder mm -hmm. but um, what me and Poncho has has come to the, come to the realization is all about economics until we become a economic factor in that whole artistic equation, nothing's ever going to happen. Um, there's got to be a system of control. There's got to be a system of w of where to go to get your art seen and get it in the venue in the proper venues. There is a there is a structure that exists in the art world. We exist outside that structure, mm. and I, I don't know who's to blame for that. I don't know if it's us Correct. or them, Correct. but it really doesn't matter. We have to, people like uh, Mercer, we've, we've had discussions on and on about this, this, this problem, okay, is why African-American art don't get the visibility, don't get the respect, okay, like other uh, forms of art. Um, and we gotta we gotta address that problem but but you know right now what i see in the african-american uh, art community is generally chaos because mm -hmm. you got uh, you got artists going here and there and w and the artists have to struggle just to survive right. you know they're traveling all over the united states doing these different little trade shows and just little festivals okay and then there's division among the among among us you know you got academia fighting against the popular artists, then you've got the, and then then there's this struggle of what's real art and what's real African-American art. So, the, you know, until we bring that all together, okay, we're not going to get the respect with, that, with, that is due us. When, when they give out awards, when they give out images, image awards, there's got to be a visual artist standing on that podium and thanking God for for everything that was given to them, like all the other art forms, we're just left out. We're left out of our own culture and recognizing the, the accomplishments that we made, and that's not right. No, it's but not. I think, but the reason that doesn't happen, all these other art forms have an economic force. Correct. Jazz has an economic force. It's a factor economically, so it gets respect. Right. Movies. Spike Lee has recognition because what he produced makes money, Correct. gives jobs, gives uh, employment opportunities. Correct. Until that happens, we're not going to get that type of respect. We live in America. The mm -hmm. only thing that matters is how you affect that bottom line. Until we right. do that, you know, and Poncho has some questions, I mean, comments on the same subject. Yes. I think that the main thing we need to look at is the structure. Traditionally, artists were not recognized. It didn't get notoriety until they died. Right. Mm -hmm. That is the foundation of the art establishment, the museum establishment. So living, they really, really care a whole lot about it. your progress when you were living. You heard a lot. You hear most about artists after they have passed, and their work starts to circulate to the other level. And, and it seems like they almost have to pass to get to that realm. We got masters right now that are that are not getting the recognition they could get right now. And I, I can give you a whole legion of names that are just beginning to get those kind of accolades, the, the Jacob Lawrence's, uh, Elizabeth Catlett, Faith Ringo. These people have laid the groundwork for our movement. Right. And they're just beginning to get recognition. But look at how, how many years they had to devote of their lives for them to begin to get recognition. And then look at what happens when they pass. So yes. it, it, while we're talking about attaching art to hip-hop and all these things that are going to elevate artists to another point of notoriety, look at all the major media, whether it be radio shows probably do more coverage on artists than anybody else. TV shows don't do it. PBS might do a section on art, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Oprah's never had an artist on her mm -hmm. show. I think she may have had Barnett Honeywood in the audience once to talk right. about something that Bill Cosby was doing. Right. But they've never done anything on Barnett Honeywood. So attitudes towards the media and our history play a role in this notoriety thing. We are what I consider to be low-range celebrities. But we also got to give acknowledgement to how far we've come. Correct. Ten years ago, 
you could walk into an African American family's home and you saw nothing. Right. If you go into ten people's homes now, at least three to four of them have African American art on the wall. That is a major revolution. I think that right now we're losing sight of that we're in the midst of a major revolution right now. Mm-hmm. And nobody's coined a phrase for it. Nobody's giving credit to the popular artists for bringing that kind of attention to this market. And now, like I say, Mercer and Evelyn were at the beginning of this thing. Yes, yes, we were talking about that um, uh, just Thursday night. We were talking about the fact that 25 years ago, that's when they began. They began the revolution. <laughs> they began the well, revolution. Well, they contributed to the, the revolution. <laughs> there was a couple of folks yeah. out there that we can give names of folks that were very instrumental in getting African American accessible to the community because that's where we're popular. We're popular in the community. We may right. not be popular in the art business and the art world, mm-hmm. but the people in the community, because that's where all of our shows are held. Right. They, they validate us. Mm-hmm. They have mm-hmm. elevated us. That's mm-hmm. true. You know, you got things, graphics, uh, uh, Edward Robertson. He was right. one of the first ones to start a distribution company selling African-American right. art. So there's a whole bunch of, uh, June Kelly, there's tons of folks that have been in this business 20 or more years that were right. that laid the foundation for this popular movement that's going on. The problem is that nobody's documenting this movement. Correct. And that's unfortunate. We're right at the break again. Everybody hold on. We'll be right back. The October Gallery Radio Show. We connect people with art. 